Peace in 10 seconds. Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm the astronomer at the HR Macmillan Space Center. Welcome to today's new discovery segment, where we're going to be talking about bodies of water potentially being detected on Mars. Now scientists have thought for a long time that there could be water trapped beneath the Martian surface. And in fact, just two years ago, planetary scientists announced that they might have found evidence for the presence of liquid water near the Martian Southern Pole, hidden under a kilometer and a half of ice. But they needed more evidence to support the claim, because if confirmed, it'd be a big deal. So they needed more observations than the 29 that they had. Now researchers are saying that they've not only confirmed the presence of that lake, but they found three additional ones. Now the radar instrument that they use for the new detections is on Mars Express, and it's called MARSIS. And they used it to probe the planet's south pole for water. So how does it work? Well, it uses a method that I'm going to describe as a radar echo. Basically, MARSIS sends out radio waves, which bounce off layers of material in the planet's surface and below. And by looking at the way that the signal is reflected back, it can tell us the type of material that is present, like ice, rock, or water. It's a little bit like shouting into a canyon and listening to what your voice sounds like when it bounces back. They use this method to find subglacial lakes on Earth, too. So here is some data represented in the paper. The big blue blob in the center is the original saltwater lake detected two years ago, and the three smaller blue blobs around are the proposed newly detected lakes by Marsis. So people knew that the Martian surface has just terrible conditions for liquid water to exist. The planet doesn't have a substantial atmosphere, which means low pressures, and the ambient temperature and pressure on a planet's surface dictate whether or not water can remain in liquid form there. Mars doesn't have the necessary pressure, so we see water ice in the Martian poles. But scientists think that there could be reservoirs of water hidden beneath the surface that could be potential habitats for Martian life. On Earth, we see life in places like subglacial lakes, like Lake Vostok in Antarctica. But for water to exist underground, researchers are suggesting that it would have to have a really high concentration of salt to exist under present day Martian physical conditions. We see hypersaline, and hypersaline being just a fancy term for super salty, the hypersaline solutions here on Earth, existing at temperatures much below where water should be frozen, so that gives the idea some merit. Now, as you can imagine, the new detection has revived the debate and controversy that surrounds the origin and stability of liquid water on Mars under present day conditions. Researchers of the newly published paper are basically saying that, okay, well, we collected more data on the saltwater lake that may have been detected in 2018, but we can only really speculate the kinds of conditions needed for the formation of liquid water and its long-term survival for us to be able to detect it now. But we can use what we know about interpreting experimental data on polar ice sheets here on Earth to interpret the data that we got from Mars. So they ran analysis on the data like they would for terrestrial polar ice sheets, and based on their findings, they argue that this detection provides stronger evidence for water bodies at the South Pole. But some scientists aren't as optimistic. They don't argue against the data that was collected, but they do have a problem with how the data is interpreted. Their main concern is that there isn't enough heat to turn ice into water or a salty brine, even under the polar ice caps. Then to settle this debate, researchers are waiting for the Tianwen mission, a Chinese mission that is on its way to Mars, to deploy a rover and gather data to check their claims. So what do you think about liquid water on Mars? Do you think there could be large bodies of water hidden beneath the dusty surface? Do you think there could be microbial life on Mars? Let us know what you think and come join us for a discussion at our bi-weekly Ask an Astronomer live stream this Thursday. And finally, thanks for tuning in to our New Discoveries video. Don't forget to head on over to our website at spacecenter.ca and check out our online resources for at-home learners and curious minds. We'll see you next time.